What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video here. Today's video is a bit different. I'm gonna take a trip over to Tampa Bay, Florida. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on there right now with this red tide. It is further explained later on in this video. The news has been covering it. Everything is just dying, it's terrible. Thousands and thousands of dead fish continue to show up in St. Pete and intercoastal waterways. If you can watch through any of my videos all the way through, please make it this one. As you can see, I haven't even monetized this video, although YouTube will probably still put ads in it. Just know I'm not being paid for this. I wanted to use my voice and my platform here, my family, to spread the word around the world. Really just want you to watch every single minute of it to just see how catastrophic this really is. Again, this is a horrible thing that's going on right now in Tampa Bay. Hundreds of thousands of fish are dying. Scoop after scoop after scoop. After a boat fills up, it unloads the dead fish into a large dumpster that will be taken to the county landfill. And I went out there to check it out myself. We took a plane, we went from above, we took a boat, we went from the water. Dude, this is nuts. This is insane. Devastation. We saw some of the craziest stuff, stuff I could wish I could unsee. Dude, that is a manatee, bro, a dead manatee. And I documented it all here. On the road, boys and girls. ETA is 8.29 a.m. It's the earliest I've been up in ages. Funny was slump. It didn't work. It didn't go as planned. We're only 20 minutes away. I said, I'm gonna then. <laughs> Drink your wings, baby. Drink your wings. Yeah, hey, we gotta fly right now. Sky. Wait, you've never been on a plane, bro. No. Nah. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be a lot more interesting than I thought. We'll see you at the plane. Come on in. It's like sitting in the car. It's got it, a lot of room. It's literally actually pretty. Once we pull these seats up, it's pretty man, spacious. Not, so much room. You nervous? <laughs> no, a no bit. you're nervous. Come on now. Before we go any further, I want to introduce you to our pilots. This is Zach. He's been flying planes for years, and he actually trained this guy, Max. These guys are gonna be flying us around today to see all the damage that Red Tide has done here in Tampa Bay. Tower. This is uh, Skyline 1242 Inky. We're uh, short runway 7. We are ready for takeoff. I'll take you guys to Pawnee Point and see what it looks like over there. See that reservoir? That right there, what you see, is all pumping out into uh, Tampa Bay. Oh my gosh. There's so much We're about 300 feet uh, above the water right now, which is pretty low. All that white stuff you see right there are all dead fish. So many dead fish. You gotta think, from here, it doesn't look like as many dead fish, but there's a lot. They're like this big from up in the sky. All right, runway seven, uh, we put a land. Uh, I'm gonna do gas, undercarriage, mixture, propellers full forward, and seatbelts, everyone's got their seatbelt on. Woo, good stuff, boys. That air feels good. Nice job, dude. Yes, sir. Chris, bro, <laughs> first flight. Oh yeah, I was. What fine. do you think? I was fine. You liked it? I was so smooth. I think at one at one point, I think he went up or down. That I felt like. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, like, oh. we did it. Pushing the plane back. Now that we've seen. 
seen everything from above. Let's go see from below on the ground where it gets a little bit more close and personal. Spanish mackerel, flounder, catfish. What is that? Looks like a, yeah, some sort of tuna. Oh, dude, that's a beast snook. That thing is like 40 inches, bro. Oh my gosh. That is Mega! Just literally just washed up as we're sitting here. Oh my gosh, bro. Let me know when. Alright. Wow. Was a beautiful snow. It was an absolute slob. Jeez. This would have been a great, great fish to catch. And now it's completely dead. That's crazy, bro. It's too bad. Dead. And that's a, that's a red tide cramp. Dead. Or all fishery dead. Yeah, imagine how many that size and bigger one died. We are going to meet right now one of the biggest fishing captains, I would say, at least here in Tampa Bay, Florida. And he's going to give us some more information in his side of this whole red tide thing. He makes a living off bringing people out to go fishing. So this really affects his livelihood. This is uh, definitely a different type of video. I don't typically do videos like this, but when stuff like this happens, your boy PC. It's coming to spread the word. I grew up fishing here, not only in the Gulf, but especially, you know, back home in Jupiter, Florida. And to see stuff like this, especially hold a snook that I've held similar sizes to alive, is a really, really crappy feeling. I don't even know what to say, bro. That's, it's. it's... All good. Yeah. All through here. What's going on, man? How's it going? How are you? Good. Hi, Tyler. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So I'm making a video on YouTube. Yeah. Kind of just explaining the red tide and how you know how it is pretty much. Look at that fish. What is that? Big I red fish. That. Look at that red. Golly, man. So we're hopping on your boat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. All right. So we're gonna take a little boat trip, and we're gonna have Tyler's gonna explain kind of at least more in detailed what the problem and how this is all happening. All right, Tyler. So first question is, how is all this happening? Well, so red tide is a naturally occurring thing, yeah. right? But humans are undoubtedly supercharging it yeah. with all the crap that we're putting into the water from fertilizers, sewage spills, yard runoff, you name it. All the extra nutrients we're putting in the water takes a mild non lethal red tide event and turns it into a widespread catastrophic one. And that's exactly what's happening right now. So this that one, nuts. yeah, this, this one. This is something like that's never seen before. How bad this one is? This one is as bad as anybody's ever seen it ever, right? So and it's it's widespread, and right now it's spreading like wildfire. Yeah. It started. What causes that to spread? Well, so algae is an algae. That's more nutrients in the water. So as it kills more fish, it has more to feed on. It just goes boom, 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 boom. It just goes out. So once Sheesh. it's like a domino effect. Now, how as a charter, how does this affect you? Uh, well. I mean, I, early on, you know, I can, I can kind of run to different areas yeah. where there maybe isn't any or go run offshore or whatever, but I ran all the way down to Longboat Key, which is like, I don't know, 20 something miles oh, south yeah. of here, trying to get out of the red tide two days ago and never got out of it. So it's, 20 it's, miles. it's, it's spreading. Jeez. Yeah, from, I used to do my charters right here. I could put the yeah. boat in and fish. This was tarpon and snook and all that. Yeah. And it's all dead now. I'm going to have to go run offshore yeah. and see if I can get out of it. but. If it's out past nine miles, then you can't, water, yeah. you can't fish. Out here like you, just spreading the word. Yeah, it's, that's the whole goal of this video. Yeah. I came out here strictly for that. All the naysayers that will say, oh, you know, we can't really tell if yeah. it's from nutrients or human activity or not. Yeah. All of the scientists that aren't paid by lobbyists will tell you that it's that we're doing this in the waterways. We're supercharging. It's somewhere up that chain of command before it gets to the governor or whatever. It's getting the message is being lost. Yeah. Like the lobbyists from the polluting companies are saying, no, it's not. You can't say that. No, it's yeah. not us. Like, and that's what's continuing. And that's that's why this is continuing. This happened three years ago. I remember this catastrophe. It killed everything up and down and the coast. And then FWC cut a lot of the limits on fish. They wouldn't yeah. let you keep what redfish for yeah, a while. Yeah, redfish yeah. trout. The big they three. wouldn't let you. Yeah, the big three. Yeah. They just opened them up. And they just yeah. opened yeah. them up. Yeah, and then this happened. Yeah, and I, which I thought was dumb anyway, but. Uh, and now they're definitely going to have to close them. I mean, the water is poison. It's killing everything. This is not even the canal, apparently. These houses are worth millions and millions and millions of dollars, correct? And this is what their backyard looks like. Absolute devastation. I mean, it's straight dead fish. So this is nothing yet, but this is just a sampling of what we're going to see. That is look at that. 
Yeah, the water is just so brown. You name it, the species is in there. I see flounder, catfish, some trout, tarpon. Oh my, it looks like a cloud on the water. That's nuts. Big old mullet. That's a, big mullet. That's a monster mullet. More fish, look at them all. These eels, really weird eels, man. There's a lot of, there's a lot of eels. You what know, is that? I've never seen them. There's a lot of little, like, moray eels and this eel species that you don't ever see until the red tide happens. They're hiding in the rocks, yeah. The rocks, yeah. Gosh, man. Look how many pinfish. Oh, nice flounder. Nice flounder. That's a beast. Jeez. I pulled out the phone now so that I can get, you know, a closer zoom in and a wider angle. Um, but there's just every species. You get. Look at these gator trout, bro. Those are some monster trout. Imagine that's your house and this is what the backyard looks like. Dude, this is nuts. This is insane. There's a group right there. This smell. It reeks. Look at all the trout. Look at all those trout. Oh my gosh, dude. Yo. It is a dried up manatee on the bank. Dude, that is... Look at that. Poor manatee. I tell you what, they don't want us seeing this. 100%. That's why they grab the dolphins and manatees before anyone finds them. I mean, this is on a whole nother level of just fish. It has killed dolphins. It's killed, as you can see, manatees right in front of us right here. We'll show you that in just a second. Hundreds and thousands of fish. You name it, it's killed it. Look at this in the water right here. Dead. Wow. I can't even believe that's real. Here we are in beautiful St. Petersburg where the water, well, the water is poisoned. This is caused by red tide, a red tide that could have been prevented. Once a bloom hit the piney point, discharge from piney point phosphate plant right over there the red tide exploded like a bomb in the bay and it is killing everything including manatees just like this one this is what the politicians and the people in power do not want you to see they say oh it's a natural occurrence well no what people are putting in the water is making this explode into a catastrophic situation and this is just one example look at this poor thing it's a juvenile too yeah juvenile manatee this is the negligence from the people in power Cause this ruin everything that people love about Florida. Come to St. Pete Beach. Yeah, everything. Fishery. Let me tell you, if you have summer plans to come down to Clearwater, St. Petersburg, Anna Maria, and go to the beach or anywhere in between, just don't come. The water is poison because of our politicians. The only thing they know is money. Yep. The donors are paying for them to keep this quiet. Well, we can't be quiet anymore. You're destroying what we love. It's time to speak up. I mean, you're gonna tell me this not meant to be that we found this. Something I didn't expect to see today, I'll tell you that, for sure. How you doing, Cap? Well, I'm gonna call the FWC because we found a dead manatee and uh, you're supposed to report well, it here. Said yeah. Goliath, Goober, redfish, another redfish here. And we are putting all the fish on the back of the boat just to give you a visualization on just how like, crucial this is. It's insane. <laughs> Big fish, big fish. We don't know what it is, but it's dead right there. That is just incredible, bro. It's it's everything. Spotted eagle ray. What's Spotted it, eagle ray. Another fish. Big sheep's head, bro. That's a monster. Buddy said uh something. I don't know. Back of the boat's looking a little uh, gnarly. Stud, dude. That's the one. Same one we got earlier. 
Gosh, dude. That was about a, I don't know, close to 40 about inches. About a 40 inch. It's not beautiful, bud. We got monster gags, redfish, goliaths. It's like a murder down. scene. Pretty solid day of right there. That would have been. Right? God, snook. Oh my god. That's a really big snook, man. That's got to be 40. 40. That's a nice yeah, hold, hold him up. Oh. Oh. I didn't know we had him that big in Tampa Bay. I'd say I saw it 42. 43. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, you got 32 right there. Big old, big old and snook. Because there's a lot of dead fish in the back of the boat. We did this strictly to just show you how devastating this was. Um, we're actually gonna just get them all back in because we have no use for them. Yeah. Look at all those flies. Yeah. Disgusting. Size of gag. Beast. Mm -hmm. FWC came and picked up that manatee. It's gone. They were quick. So Tyler, thank you for taking us out. Showing us what's going on around here. It's horrible. What is a way that you think just anyone normal can help out. Well, <laughs> I mean, our state politicians have got to know what's going on. So the biggest thing is to just get the word out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say just share this video, get the word out. It is, what you saw today is yeah. the worst you can possibly imagine. I mean, look behind right here. There's just, look at this. It's everywhere. It's like it's snowed dead fish. It's insane. I mean, the, the best thing that we can do is just make people aware of what's going on and let people know that this is not natural, it's not normal. They're gonna say that it was that red tide's a natural event and it is absolutely not. Humans are putting the nutrients into the water and supercharging it. That's the message to get out here. So hopefully you made it all the way to this point of the video. If you have, make sure to go down in the description below. There's a little share button. Share this video with anyone. Send it to 10 people in your contacts, five people. I'm also going to have a GoFundMe link in the description with whatever money raised from this video and from the Kaferos watching, or if you're new to my channel, you found this from someone else sharing it. I'm just gonna send it to Captains for Clean Water. Good redfish right there. A dollar, five dollars, whatever it may be. Donate it down below. GoFundMe's down below. Tyler's links are down below. Thanks for taking us out. The boys' links are down below as well if you wanna check out their Instagrams. And uh, Kaferos, I'm gonna end it right there. There's nothing more to be said. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.